stage is set for today's Supreme Showdown in the 2016 PLDT Home Ultra Philippine Super League Invitational. Jopelin Gonzaga is one of the younger players in the league, but she is young, talented, and has emerged as a leader. On the other side of the floor, ang kanyang kapwa, kilapot na kaliwete, si Aiza Maizo Pondilla Samana, nangunguna para sa Petron Triactive in this titanic showdown between RC Cola Army and Petron Triactive. Dito lang sa Philippine Super League on TV5, the Philippine Olympic Network. Marami salamat for joining us. Ako po si James Velasquez with Chiki Pablon. Coach George Pasqua against Coach Kung Fu Reyes as we take a look at the starting six of Coach uh, Kung Fu. Uh, of course, uh, Gonzaga, Tobino, Bunag, Sabas, Dakis, and Gonzalez, the setter, starting out for RC Cola Army on the other side. For Petron Triactive, there's Mike Morada, Bang Pineda, Mina Aganon, CJ Rosario, uh, Grace Masangkai, Isa Maiza Potinas, of course, Jen Reyes, ready to come in at Libero. Rachel Dakins, of course, uh, also played for Petron. Last uh, All Filipino and Grand Prix, so this is a different side. Well, not really a different side. Dal nakatapat na rin naman niya yung Petron uh, when Army was playing for the previous season's Dita sa Philippine Super League. Before we start our game, uh, Chiki Papa, what would you like to see from both squads here in set number one? I think the number one requirement here is good first ball kasi doon magsa-start lahat ng plays and yun ang nagiging weaknesses ng dalawang teams na to eh. They, they cannot run a play if you don't have a good first ball. Here we go. Magano close to the net. That one not over. Yeah, that was that was close to the net kaya yung timing sa approach ni Agano na off. So the ball went to the net. Salas with his lefty service. With some high back set, Morada sliding. Look at the score. Ball kept alive. Some high to Morada and gets it off the bar. Si Morada na baka smart player when she saw three blockers right in front of her. So instead of risking by hitting that ball really hard, she did a power tip. Lumos at yung bola in between the net and the blockers. It's amazing that they're making her hit middle. Yeah. Dapat si CJ, di ba? Normally. But she's there right now. Oh, Tobino puts it down. Tobino is known to have a really strong arm. So it's a classic example of that. Royce Tobino puts it down with the Ultra Pass Mike brought to you by PLDT Home Ultra. The Ultra Pass LTE for a happy family. Nung huli naglaro ito, RC Cola Army si... Royce Tubino, medyo nag-migraine yata because of the weather. Yung biglang ini, tapos lamig. We'll see if she's uh, feeling better in this matchup. As she gets back to the against this time on the other side. And I think she's feeling better talaga ngayon kasi sunod-sunod yung puntos niya. Back-to-back -back points for Royce Tubino, former NCAA MVP. Aba naglalaro para sa University of Perpetual Health. So, Buna serves. Masakai running away from Micah Morada. Gonzalez, back set to Gonzaga! Ganda nung hit ni Gonzaga. And if you can see yung face niya, parating game face daw siya in the court because otherwise, mawawalan siya ng focus. Gonzalez to Gonzaga. G to G. Ganda nung talo niya. The ball went in between the blockers. Pineda, target of that. Arsicola Army Service. Agano. Try to go long, but too long. That was a good eye from by Rachel Dakis. She saw that the ball was high. She was at the back. She let that ball go. Yeah, the Petron Triactive looking to get back on the winning track after losing in five sets. And it's a uh, second page these spikers. They catch a break with that service area. Ito si Micah Morada, she has a good arm in her services. So the first ball ng army kailangan very calculated. Gonzalez. Pontillas goes to the other side, a ganon denied. Abel set naman para kay Pontillas. Maybe Gonzaga defend. Pontillas, a tip. Oh, good scrambling defense for Army. Masakai to CJ Rosario. Nicely 
done by CJ Rosario hitting that zone six. And Masakai now trying to establish different attackers. Yung respeto niya para sa blocking scheme ng army. Pag nasupal pa nung kakapigas sa kabila, mas maranda kami sa service error. Pigay mo agad sa kabila. Make that defense move from side to side. That's right. Yun nga yung sinabi ni Coach George. Eh. She can't just set and set sa open or sa outside hitter. Kailangan tinitingnan niya yung blockers. Service controlled by Jen Reyes. Petron in transition. And Pontilius joins the party. Ang lakas ng kamay ni Pontilius kanina, mga hulog ang ginagawa niya. This time, binigyan niya ng isang malakas para hindi siya mag-predict. And a scoring machine with a lethal lefty spike and an ultra-fast spike brought to you by PLDT Home Ultra, the ultra-fast LTE for a happy family. Gonzaga off the block with coverage by Morada. Masangkai has to play a, an awesome game here today. AC, set up for Bank Pineda, off-speed hit is good. Twice na yan, sa zone 6, hinuhulog lang ng Petron, hindi nakukuha ng Army. So they have to come up with a plan, I'm talking about the Army, to cover zone 6. And that's just the uh, smarter hitting, para sa Petron Triactive. That's right. Nakita ko yung back line, hinanap yung open spot. That's right, why not? Eh, early on pa lang sa game, I think they're looking forward to a long game here because this is Army, it's gonna be challenging, so reserve your energy. Five serving six. Saga denied by Rosario. They go to the other side. Bacchus is denied by Pontillas. Racial again. Petron this time. And Pontillas puts it away. Sabi nga ni Coach George, the plays of Petron have to be faster. That's why yung sets ni AC mas mababa si net para mas mabilis yung bola. Six all. Ang ating talaan dito sa unong set. Making Tobino work defensively. Oh, Dakis! Ang ganda, lakas ng bola ni Rachel Dakis. So she's known to be a hard-hitting athlete. And even though they were teammates before, mm -hmm. Rachel Dakis says, I'm wearing the yellow and green this time. And the ultra-fast bike brought to you by PLDT Home Ultra. Ultra-fast LTE for a happy family. Combination play for Bank Pineda, but couldn't score. Again. Uh, 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 and Petron trailing by two, six to eight. Mga kapatid, blockbuster game na po ang nangyayari dito sa PLDT Home Ultera Philippine Superliga Invitationals 2016. James and Chiki ang natutunan nga daw ng petrol mula sa kanilang blockbuster loss. Ay, uh, dapat tibayan lang nila ang kanilang sarili at nagbabase nga sa lahat ang kanilang service received. So keep that steady at mahukuha natin ang momentum na to kasi complacency rin daw ang rason kung bakit sila natalo doon sa signal. Ngayon daw usapan, huwag palakasan ng laro. Gamitin natin ang talino. James? Uh, Mitch, before I let you go, uh, I'd like to ask you about uh, the mood in the dugout of Petron Triactive. Remember, uh, yung set na kanilang sinuko dito sa ating season nang galing sa signal. Kanilang unang talo, nang galing sa signal. What was the mood like? Well, kanina sa dugout, halatang halata pa rin yung bahid ng talo nila from signal. But at the same time, kita mo rin yung focus sa kanilang mga out of four revenge in this game. James? Thank you so much, Michelle Carmen, the third member of our broadcast panel. Kailangan short memory ka rin minsan. Oh, make it, uh, you never lose, you learn. But you have to apply those lessons in the next one. That's right. Tapos kailangan yung recovery mo mas mabilis. Especially when you have a game that's as crucial as this. Gini de los Reyes getting some playing time early in this game. On deck to serve. Nine serving seven para sa RC Cola Army. Oh, Reyes a little... Receive there, but then again, para ni Morada. So we still have a chance ball. Gonzalez back set. Bunag slides, hits, and scores. You know, si Bunag talagang tinarget niya yung uh, zone one corner. Naikita mo sa stance niya. Pontilius was there, pero just a little bit off. And Bunag says, no, Jing bounce in, no problem. Ultra fast spike brought to you by BLDT Home Ultra. The ultra fast LTE for a happy family. Pineda. Oh, bang! Will score! Bang with a bang! 
talaga nag-score siya doon. Ang ganda, lakas ng bola niya, mabigat yung dating. But you know, I asked her a while ago, what's her favorite position? Kasi nag-outside hitter siya, nag-opposite hitter at saka libero. Her favorite is libero daw. Oh, wow. Yeah. But she's doing a good job in the hitting position as well. Oh, Atlo going to take care of that one, and Rosario serves up an ace. CJ, this is one aspect of her game that she wants to improve. To be able to attack from the service line. Gonzaga receives that one well. Set up for Takis, who couldn't score. Masakai to Morada. Agno was there. FEU to FEU. Sankai this time goes to Bank Veneta. The rally continues. Gonzalez on two, and she will score. You know, you just said that during the technical time of the coach George. Ano, uh, gagamitin nila yung smarts nila. I'm talking about yung sa Army. So, bantayan ang zone 6 because posibleng maghulog sila doon. And that's exactly what the Army did. Rachel Antak is to serve. 11 serving 9. Good eye there from Pontillas. Canetta now, serving to the Patron Triactive. So one point game, 10 serving 11, it is set number one. Tubino this time off the block. Ganda nung take off ni Tubino, ganda nung arm swing niya, and that was a fast, ang ganda nung ano niya, nung set up ng bola niya. Great play, nicely executed. Tobino knows what to do when she has a hammer off the block. And the ultra pass mic brought to you by PLDT Home Ultra. Ultra pass LTE for a happy family. Cannon block. Second touch now for Reyes. Morada, soft touch. Oh, has a play by Buna. It is a battle at the net. Puro hulog hulog, sundot sundot. But ang nanalo doon, si Nunag. Chinempohan niya, mas malakas yung pagsundot niya in this last part. Look at this. John Puna, just very smart. Abang umahabol kay ng bola. Kinulog na lang niya ng simple. Sometimes that's uh, all it needs. It's a simple shot. Puna, kick shot is good. There was a block there. Well, at least AC Masangkay tried to block that ball. Kasi na misreceive. Sayang lang walang humabol ng second ball. Four point lead now for RC Cola Army. 14 serving 10. Masangkai, on two! You know what? AC is so much smaller than the blockers of Army, but because of the speed of that particular play, nakuha niyang pumuntos para sa Petron. AC also, a dependable server. Army, another great play for Buna. Usually, pag running in the head, it's always cross-court. Usually, ha? So, dapat, pag nakikita na ng Petron na tumatakbo yung player pa running, bantayan na nila yung cross-court. Veneta, the target of that service. Oh, what a hit for Pontilla! Ang ganda ng pagkapalo ni Pontilla. And that was a play. Oh, makita mo yung lihis sa kamay niya. And Isa Maiza Pontilla with a wrist away and the put away. The Ultra Fast Mike brought to you by PLDT Home Ultra. The Ultra Fast LTE for a happy family. Gonzaga blocked by Rosario. Gonzaga again a little under the ball. Portillas clearing everyone out, but Magana not in perfect position for the approach. Tubino is, but she is blocked. You know, the blockers of Petron were ready for Tubino to say. Medyo, ano eh, hirap nagkagulo yung floor defense ng Army, kaya there was nowhere else to go but to the open hitter. And they, the blockers were ready for that. Petron was actually out-blocked 6-12 by single HD, so something they want to improve here. Portillas, off speed, defended by Gonzaga. Dakis with a back attack, but too strong. So, oh, kailangan talaga i-improve ng Petron yung kanilang blocking because ang daming hitters ng army and they can come from anywhere at any time. Chance to equalize for Petron Triac. Oh, 
Zaga tried to adjust, but attack not over. Yeah, she was far from the net for an off speed like that. Hindi niya nakalculate ng maigi. But you can see the game face. So, sigurado ka babawi yan. 15 all. Who will go into the technical timeout to the lead? Rubino off the combination. What a play. There was a touch there, and that's why Army goes first to the technical timeout. They are up 16 to 15. We'll be back in a moment. It is 16 to 15 here in set number one for RC Cola Army and Petron Triactor to see one point ball game. And a familiar face for both squads is Rachel Andanis, who played for Petron Triactor the last time. Yeah, you know, she has an upper hand here because Kai Pano, alam na niya yung groove ng Petron, alam na niya yung mga techniques ni Coach George. And that's why she'll be able, for sure, be able to contribute sa tactics naman ng Army to defeat Petron. And for more on Rachel Ann Dacus, a report from Michelle Carr. Yes, tama kayo dyan. Rachel Ann Dacus coming from both teams. Natutunin niya raw mula sa Petron is yung being ate. Mas nag-mature daw siya with Petron. And now that she's with Army, isa siya sa mga pinakabata. She's applying that by taking the initiative to be the leader inside the court. Strategy na daw, huwag manggigil, relax lang, at huwag pilitin ang laro na ito. James? Maraming salamat, Mitch. And uh, yun nga, yung rules na pag-iiba para dito kay Rachel Ann Dacus. Sa Army, balik bata siya, but that's not a reason for her to not let her voice be known and not lead with her play. Just like that, Rachel Ann Dacus scoring off the block. And you know, itong si Rachel Dacus, kung ate siya sa Petron noon, dito, ang role niya sa Army is the happy, happy field person ng team. So kasi usually daw itong Army, when they start the training, they're all very serious. But when she comes in, napapatawa niya yung mga ate niya and the atmosphere becomes lighter. Oh, what a love! Gonzaga apologizing to CJ Rosario after. Let's take a look at it once again. The meeting at the net. And Gonzaga telling that ball, get back from what she came. Yan ang gentle woman, apologizing ka. Unfortunately, to be with the service error. Tight first set here, 16 to serve 18. Mina Aganon on the. To si Mina Aganon, di ba? In the past conferences, hindi siya first six ng Petron, but you can just see yung hunger niya to play because she's bringing in the points for Petron. Chini de los Reyes, sort of quick. There's the double sub. Michelle Carolino and Tina Sala entering the game. Center opposite, subbing in. So, ang lakas ng front line ng Army ngayon because lahat yan, hitters, front row hitters. Christina Sala is the one that's the backliner. Kaya yung defense, net defense, yung presence ng Petron, kailangan malakas. Masangkay runs a play for Isa Maizo. Pontillas, who will score? Nicely done by Isa Maizo Pontillas. Malakas yung kamay niya, walang nagawa yung blockers, wala rin nagawa yung coverage ng Army. Isa now has the leadership role para sa Petron Triactive being the team captain and defender. De Los Reyes gets it a goal. That would have been, that was a good save actually by Isa Puntinas, nataas niya yung bola. Nagulat lang yata yung mga kakampi niya na nataas ni Isa Maizo yung Bola na yun eh, ng army. So a little faster in the coverage ng Petron would help them. George Pascal with a center opposite sub on their own. As you remind everyone, I'm going to give a sa inyo paborito PSL idols using shout. New way of expressing yourself quickly and easily. Visit sports5.ph and look for the shout widget para mag shout sa paborito nyo mga players. Free and no registration is required. Angel Legacion and Cesc Molina coming in for the goal. No, what a service ace. Gra and Gina De Los Reyes, nahulog na lang. Grabe yung bola, ang baba sa net, ang bilis ng takbo. Hindi halos nakita ni Jen Reyes yung bola. Actually, they lost because of a service ace. Mula kay yes. Janelle Cheng. So this is something, your first ball, na you will have to think na naging focus to sa huling train ng Petron Triactor. And that's really yung overload nila was service reception because ayaw nga ni Coach George na mangyari ulit yung nangyari sa talo nila against Signal. And sabi nga niya, mas mabuti na yung uh, natalo tayo because we tried to get a hard-hitting ball kaysa naman sa nahulog lang yung ball ng gano'n. There was a yeah, 
miscommunication there between Legacion and uh, Rosario. And that's strange because parang Arellano University girls ito. Mm -hmm. Communication lang dapat dyan. Target Pan Pineda with that service. RC Cola just needing three more points to take set number one. Sala tries to play for Buna. Ball wouldn't fall. A little miss hit there. Pineda, no miss hit on that one. See, walang nagawa si Honey Royce to beat dun sa cross court hit ni Bang Pineda. Mabigat kasi yung kamay niya, mabilis. The ball literally just fell right beside of Honey Royce. Pero sa sobrang bilis nga, hindi na calculate ni Honey Royce yung bola. Yumi Yonko subs in. He replaces CJ Rosario. Salah, back set. Carolino couldn't put it away. Overseed, but Duna couldn't kill the gift shot. Carolino again. Difficult angle. And Carolino will score. Hitting the sideline, everybody thought that ball went out, but what an angle. It's a little time out, but big momentum. It's Coach George Pasqua. Hey, guys. 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 Gumesto mo naman ng maayos. Para makapunta natin yung wala. Ito naman blocker dito. Establish lang kayo para mas madali. Diba? Ano yung shock lang tayo? Galit, galit. Saka na rapat mo na rapat to. Eh, control! Ang sabi nga ni Coach George eh, yung, yung establish the defense kasi kapag running yung hitter, cross-court lang yan. Hindi yan nagda-down the line. Very rare na magda-down the line yan. So the blockers have to establish themselves to stop a cross-court hit. So yun yung sinasabi, medyo na-exasperate dun si, na-frustrate dun si Coach George eh, because I'm pretty sure they've practiced this over and over again. Rachel is preparing to serve. 23 serving 18. Set up for Morata from the open spot. Yun yung magandang mangyari. From a timeout, napipigilan yung offense ng kalaban at pumupuntos because of an attack. Not an impossible climb para sa Petron Triactive, but volleyball has to be flawless from this point on. Again, miscommunication defensively. I know, and that ball was very slow when it went up against the blockers. They weren't... Ewan ko kung ano nangyari doon. They were just looking at the ball. Yeah, they were just looking. Parang hindi. Nagdi-defend sila sa kapag pinili. Kunin yung bola. So, yun yung sinasabi ni Coach George. Dapat kunin yung bola. Service controlled by Pineda. Back set. Molina attacks. Agno cleans it up. Bunag again, running. And scoring! Medyo late yung blockers ko din ang Petron for that running hit. So that's why then that set ended in a blocking error. And that's why RC Cola Army will take set number one, 25 to 19. Set number two when we come back. <laughs>